Hello everyone and welcome to this iSharePoint All video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something very important that I wish I had been talking about, that I had talked about in my earlier, earlier video, in my earliest videos. And that is the content editor web part. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, how do I, how am I able to, when I do my demos, how am I able to embed the code and, and get the code into my page? Um, so I'm going to show you how I do that and basically talk to you about what a content editor web part is. So a content editor web part basically allows you to display rich text like tables and you can add images and the things that you do in a Word document, you can do that in your content editor web part, but it also allows you to provide a link to an, a, a text file or an HTML file um, and it'll display whatever's in those files onto the page if you have any functionality so let me go ahead and begin and, and show you some things so let me come down here go to site pages and as soon as this comes up when I click on new I'm gonna get three choices here wiki page web part page site page link don't worry about the link um, and all these these pages wiki page and web part page it, it allows me to add a content editor web part to it the site page on the other hand that's the, the new page that has been created for the sharepoint online is the, the the modern has a modern look and there's no option to add a content editor web part and I, I hope microsoft adds it back because all developers love the content editor web part so um I created a wiki page already. I called it content editor. Where is it? Oh, I guess I didn't. So let me come here and add a page, wiki page. WP. Let's say create. So now I have this wiki page, and now I'm going to add a click on the ribbon, click on insert. And then add a web part. Web part add. Now, as you can see, the content editor comes up. I'm sorry, I didn't even show you how. So, if you click on, oh, uh, if you clicked on insert, let me do that again. If you clicked on insert web part you have these different categories of web parts um, and the one that we're looking for is in the media and contents and if you click on contents editor click add and that's what added that will that's what was added here now if you click on this little chevron I believe they call it and you click on edit web part because to be able to use this web part you gotta add it when you want to add content And then once you do that, you click on this click here to add new content. Click on that. And then you can start adding text. Um, you can add tables. Uh, you can add videos, images, just different things you can you can you can add to this content editor web part. For those of you that like HTML, you can come here and click on edit source. You can put stuff in here. I wouldn't advise you to put anything like JavaScript in there, any scripts. Um, there's a script editor tag that you can use for that. So that's what you can do here. Let me go ahead and click OK. And just save the page. And there you have it. Now you have this content editor here. And let me show you how to get rid of that. So if I go and edit my web part again, edit web part, if you click on appearance, see this is the editor, content editor, so you can either give it an appropriate title, it will replace this, or like I always do most of the time, I come here, I say none to get rid of it. So click OK, save the page, and there you have it. Now, what I mostly use, because I do a lot of development, what I mostly use the content editor web part is to provide a link to my HTML page. So, 
um, so it can display. So for example, I have this web part here, and let's look at something I recently did. Uh, let's see. Let me come here. Web part. So here's something I recently did. Two bar navigation. That I thought was pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. So I have my HTML. I have my JavaScript. Um, my JavaScript. There's a reference to this JavaScript file and this HTML file. And so I want to provide. And what what I have going on here is like a little dashboard that that shows charts. So you want to grab the URL to this um, and then you want to provide it in your contents editor web part page so let me let's go to site contents so once you go to site contents uh, let me go to my site pages and I already have one created I already have a page created So let me see. So scroll down, and I have this two bar navigations page. So what you want to do is you want to add. So we're going to add a web part, edit the page, and then we're going to add a web part, web part, and then media and content, and add a content editor web part. And so once you do that, you edit the web part, and I've already grabbed the link. I have the link to that HTML page that I just showed you, to the file that, that is. And um, you click on here, see this content link? To link to a text file, type a URL. So I'm going to be linking to an HTML file. I'm just going to paste that in there, dot .html. Click OK, and then um, if this breaks, I'm not going to debug right now, but I'm just going to, I'm just trying to illustrate how to add a file to your page, how to add a file to your page using the content editor web part. So let me come up here and let me just publish the page and see what happens. And so there you have it. This is it. all this is supposed to be going on the side, but as you can see, this is my little my dashboard that I've created um, using Chart.js, View Chart.js. And let me copy this link and take it to another page and see what happens. The page is still thinking, so that's why it's not showing properly. So let's refresh the page. Uh, it's still, it's still thinking. Let me refresh the page and see what happens. So there you have it. Yep. So this is my little dashboard that I created using Vue. Um, I didn't do what I said earlier. I should have gotten rid of this content editor, but I can go back and do that. So in another video, I'll show you how I did this, how to create this in SharePoint. Um, but anyway, I hope you have an idea of how the content editor web part, web part works, how you can add text or just provide a link to an HTML file just to um, display it. And I hope it made sense. Please leave a comment below if you're confused about something. And uh, in my next video, I'll probably show you how to do this or something else. But I will eventually get to this. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.